Every year there's an estimated 350,000 home fires. Could you be upping your family's fire risk without even knowing it? Well, today we're going to share three household items that are a ticking time bomb with the help of home improvement expert Eric Stromer, who's back in the house. <laughs> Love having you on. Hey, my Thomas, always nice enjoy it. Always Thank enjoy so it. And, and look, I always take the things you give me as advice for the ER, because these things are all gonna prevent you and your family from ending yeah, up there. Our goal is to not see him, even though he's a nice man, we don't wanna see him, <laughs> all right? So first of all, 14,000 fires occur from combustion every year. Can you believe that statistic? What I want you to think about first and foremost is rags that are soaked in things like linseed oil, which are furniture protectors, stains for decks. Your contractors finish the day, they wad up the rags, they put them in a ball, and guess what happens? Over time, they can potentially create heat and burst into flames, causing many, many fires. So you have to police your contractors, you have to make sure they take their rags and dry them out on a fence post or something like that where air is getting to them because the problem comes when they're saturated and they're in a ball ultimately they can explode and actually send you to see travel. So they can just literally spontaneously they, they combust. Can, yep. When they dry, wow. there's a chemical reaction so that heat occurs, and when they're bunched together, more heat occurs, obviously. I did not know that. They can burst into flames. So what a good tip is for you guys at home, if you do have rags, you're refinishing, you're an artist, a painter, anything in that nature, get a metal container that you can put the rags in after you've dried them out. Do not put them in a washing machine. Guess what happens? the washing machine can actually catch on fire and blow up as well. Imagine heat tumbling oil covered rags. Kaboom! I I'm telling you right now, this one has always confused me. Be honest everybody, who has outlets that look like this? Oh my God, why? Okay, <laughs> let me tell you something about this. When you overload any kind of an extension cord and there's more plugs than there are supposed to be, there's potential for fire. Bad, bad, okay? <laughs> Wait, but, but is it okay if you have a device like this with, with five? Yes, those, those power strips are okay. They're okay, there's just a don't, There's a little don't. circuit breaker, okay. and so if it's overwhelmed, it'll, it'll shut off automatically. So That's these, why you have these that. these bad boys, yeah, yeah. you gotta but watch But you don't want a daisy chain off of a power strip, have one of those that has three attached to another one that has nine, so it looks like a Dr. Seuss drawing. <laughs> you don't want to have that at all, okay? So simple, one cord, you're done. And we're, we're laughing, but how, yeah, oh, I so also many want, of us and don't forget, I bet you've had this experience in the ER. People trip, 50 to 100 people a year die tripping from, on an extension cord because it's like the kid put the cord in and you're like, oh! You know, and then you're, you're done, you see him, right? It's very true. You have to okay, be very, so very I, careful. This is really important. Yeah. I love this one. What's all right, so this is, this is really, obviously everybody has a dryer in their home. We all know about changing the lint out, right? Oh my God, these people are filthy on the doctors. They never take their lint out. So what you wanna do is always clean that because believe it or not, lint is combustible as well. But the main thing that people don't understand, I think, is this. What happens in the back of your dryer, there's a venting system that comes out of the bottom. Oftentimes people have the flexible tubing, which is fine, but when it kinks and you shove the thing back against the wall, the lint builds up in all the turns. And because it's ridged, it's difficult to clean out the lint in this kind of a situation. They also come off the back of the laundry. They're also vented beyond 20 feet, which I don't recommend. They're also sometimes vented in a ceiling where it's not accessible to outdoor air. Lint is just blowing in your attic. That also causes airborne particulates, which can lead to combustion and all sorts of bad things. This rigid tubing, if you can find this and use this, have your contractor or you as a homeowner use when it's rigid because you can't get those kinks occurring in this like you can in the flex. Don't exceed 20 feet. Clean the dryers out. There's also vents in the front I want you to address. Just pay attention, keep an eye out. The lint won't catch on fire if you do the right thing. All right? As Thank always, you. always appreciate the visits. Come back soon. Be sure to check out Eric's podcast. It's called Ace on the House. It's on iTunes. Check it out.